And so today's patron shout out is Kate to Kaylee Pierre. Thank you for being a patron. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for, you know, just helping out the channel. Um, we're sorry George's face still looks like that, but we're working on it. It's a process. But yay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the horror hour. We all go a little mad. We get you. The dead. Hello and welcome to the Horror Hour, place we discuss, we debate, we disagree on all things horror. I'm one of the co-hosts here, Yutaka. Hello. Um, if you also notice, because I'm Miss Petty LaBelle, it's the original four. Miss us. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. I saw the comment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so today with me, I've got my favorite, Liam. How are you, sir? Hello, it's me. Um, no, I swallowed at the wrong time. Um, <sighs> what's like the olden days? Yeah. Um, it's like when David's out doing tricks. Yeah. Um, well, I usually don't. It's not in my mouth; it's in my ass. But that's, anyways. <laughs> Sorry, I keep forgetting you're a dirty pig bottom. Yes, um, <laughs> slop a bottomus. <laughs> yes, it's me. I'm back. Hello, I've never left. I've <laughs> been here the whole time. Oh. Um, I wasn't the one that had to sneak off to get be ill. Oh, okay. All right. What'd you okay. have done, sir? <laughs> Just had a fat transfer, honey. I went to DR and came back a new woman, bitch. <laughs> and then, of course, we have George. How are you? Every time a bell rings, an angel gets <laughs> his wings. I'm well, thank you. That just gave me flashbacks to a war or something. Bitch. That scared the shit out of me. What was that? <laughs> was that from the I, Vietnam War? <laughs> I know. I think it's from, what's that film? A, a Wonderful Life, is it? No, oh, it yes, 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 yes. Oh, he's carrying her, when he's carrying oh, her in the... Um, by yeah. the tree. Every yeah. time a bell rings. Yeah, but that sounded, that didn't sound right when you said it. Yeah, you sound <laughs> like that was like Pearl saying it from X. Oh, my God. Oh, from X. Oh, fine. I'll take it. Yep. Whatever. No. <laughs> And mm -hmm. lastly, um, we are so excited to see. Wait, is that a is that a Barbara Streisand Christmas album you got behind you? Oh my god, I it thought is. it was your parents. <laughs> oh, and, wait, I was gonna that... comment. I thought... <laughs> wow. And because yeah, that's Chris Caucasian parents. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. it's far away. I couldn't see. You're stupid, yeah, that's, George. <laughs> it's the guilty album. It is next to the Emancipation of Mimi, is my Desert Island album. It's so good. Um, Nick gave it to me for Christmas. Aww. Aww. And so, welcome, David. And see, I even caught that. <laughs> oh. Oh, I know. You're them. <laughs> it's it's a good album. It, oh, no, it's a great album. And I saw it. I was like, ooh, yeah. Okay. So, how are you, now, David? Oh, well, I mean, I was doing great until <laughs> I saw last week's episode. Um, oh. And then I heard some of the things some of you whores had to say about me. And, you know, I'm just, I'm not mm. bitter or anything. I mean... Mm. Notorious PIG over here talking about I look like Skeletor. I don't know <laughs> who. I don't know why you laughing, Zoro. I ends up with you. With that mustache. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> not Zoro. <laughs> but I'm not bitter. I'm not hateful. Or anything. I'm just... <laughs> Welcome back. Leave it to George mm -hmm. to appropriate another role. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> yeah anyway <laughs> are you feeling better though oh i'm feeling great i love i love you know i love hanging is out everything with feeling tight right and tight feeling... tight is like an origami down there oh, oh god mm -hmm. it, <laughs> it no longer looks like a ruined rubik's cube yeah oh. yeah yeah mm. well it kind of like it was mm. funny because i had a dream last night of, of all of, of all of us we were like in a movie theater oh, and then we were like watching we were watching like the barbie movie Oof. And then we just like started fucking each other. Oh. And then we just started sucking the cum out of each other's assholes. Oh, and God. it was very nice. And one of, and then, but Yutaka had like a red mouth because he was like, George's ass was bleeding. So 
it was like <laughs> dripping. So. <laughs> Welcome back, David. <laughs> oh man, can't wait to. Oh, uh, now that we'll have to bloop everything because of the we yeah, dolphin speed. noises, plank noises, all this yeah. stuff. I'm yeah. just being honest. I, I, don't silence me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> well, today I'm really excited. We have a a fun topic, um, and it's going to be the funniest deaths in horror. Mm -hmm film tv maybe some not horror because there were some really good ones that just need to be discussed but mm -hmm. i'm gonna start out with you know our you know fellow diverse queen liam how are you today what's your first pick um my first pick is samuel l jackson in <laughs> deep blue sea <laughs> yeah. oh my god that seems so good um it's just it's the way it's played off like it's such a serious monologue that he's given and then it's like yeah <laughs> and you just get oh, oh. and i'm it's um, so random I, <laughs> yeah yeah and you just oh. know because that shark was like super smart the shark was playing it the, the shark knew shark was just like hovering about at the door she was like i'm gonna give him a moment just to are you really, hiding really make I'm an coming. impact <laughs> 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 oh my god that movie is such a comfort movie i don't know i mean everything yeah. about it is so ridiculous i mean el cooj i mean everything it is on the bird <laughs> oh, the <Lord. laughs> oh that movie oh you enjoy it and thomas jane yeah, yeah. it brings Ooh. back like early 2000s memories oh, yeah. like that comfort oh i love it absolutely <laughs> like what <laughs> doesn't love a good aquatic horror moment mm, um yeah. speaking of like water, water sports, sports, sports. oh mm -hmm. george what's mm -hmm. your pick um thank you well so this one it's not necessarily the death that's funny it's like the few seconds before it so it's oh. um pat okay. from final destination 2 so to give you a little bit of a rewind it's the one where she says could you be a little quieter with oh. that thing please and he says yeah i'll just put it on quiet mode she's just like that would be good and then it's just <laughs> gone right to the back and i think she was hilarious in that film she was you know, i was enamored when she's in the car oh, 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 and yes. she has the chain thing she was brilliant like she was so good i found her so beautiful like just the the bob the shortcut yes. and then the and like the porcelain doll look like she had this is so, oh i was like so, power suit like she was i was pissed off mission. when they killed her because she, she, oh, she was so mm. She, she was, was good in Bates Motel too. Yeah, yes. you watched that. Mm -hmm. Oh, she was so good. I love Who it. Who was in Bates Motel? The is it Teach? No. What? The what's the name? She was. She wasn't a good person, but she looked fierce. Yeah. Oh, good. I I want to say she. I thought she was a teacher. It's been so. I thought long she was a teacher. Yeah. Yeah, but he was like, uh oh, that. Yeah. Oh, I was like, mm. Mm-hmm. It's time to jack off. Mm. <laughs> um, but yeah, that one, it just, I can watch that all the time because it's just so stupid and then it's just so abrupt, the death. Oh, wait a it's minute. Like... You chose that one over the birds. Oh what, my God, I love the, that the scene. The glass. <laughs> but there could be others. That you never know. Is there could hilarious. be other people. One per movie, David. That is hilarious yeah. to me. J the, I mean, this, I mean, Final Destination. <laughs> it has, it, the whole franchise has some great deaths, but let's see because obviously there's a few of us here, and Liam, like me, is basic, so maybe he's got some Ooh. on his list. All right, so moving on to our Butch Queen, David. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I want to start with the TV show because I remember okay. when I saw this when it first aired. I was this show had me like, eh. and when I saw this death, I it took me like I had to pause it. I had to roll over, fall off the couch, and everything. <laughs> Is Death Taylor Swift from Scream Queens? <laughs> <laughs> this oh bitch God. was in a, another world. She was singing. She was like, "Yeah," da, da, da. and then she's and then the look on her face right before that long more like that shit. It is the funniest <laughs> shit to me because she is everybody's just like, "Bitch, what the fuck?" And she's just like, 
Uh, and I, it takes me out every time I've seen that episode, <laughs> like at least a good five times. And it still cracks me up. Cause she's just like in a whole world that everybody's just like. I forgot which song she was singing though, too. I forgot. I'm going to have to go now watch that episode. That is real. I love that though. She's like, could you speak a little louder? I can't hear you. Listen up, bitch. Like it is, it's just, it's like one of the <laughs> so good, and it's so wrong because it's you. But oh my god, that show, that first season in general is just like one of my favorite things to watch. <laughs> good. I mean, like even, even I mean, you've got to think about the Ariana Grande one as well because yes. that hilarious. So funny. She's tweeting. She's texting. She's like, I'm like, girl. <laughs> And she looks so good. Oh my yes. god, she looks so good. The oh, aesthetic, just yeah. the pastel, and just like the high pony, super skinny. It was oh, it gave me like you remember the the David that wishes. like you you oh I know. Well, we were in the eighties anyway. Um, but uh, <laughs> what I say? Um, you ever that Kim Petras like turn off the lights album mm-hmm. where she was like yeah. drawn like skeletal mm-hmm. and everything is just like big head and small. That's what it gave me, and it was just like so ugh, so good. And that's then when, great. They found, when they found her body and she's like posed up like that's not even a good picture like, <laughs> i don't know why but i feel like we need to do just an episode all about scream, scream queens. queens yeah Absolutely. I really and do. i said this before i don't know why they didn't do this but it should have been the second season should have been another semester like if nothing ever happened and oh god that would have been great more like um what's that called like more yeah and um, pledges pledges yes. and all that stuff and then more pledges get killed and all that stuff I and they're, they're still the so chanel's are still here miraculously <laughs> but the, the pledges get that like a, like I a Simpsons loved that. South Park. it's i don't know why they didn't think of that it's like, so stuck in time well it's ryan murphy can be hit or miss sometimes and yes that was a miss yeah that's why i don't judge like you know i i understand the criticism but like when he gives us shit like Scream Queen season one, I can't. Like, I have to stay shit. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> um, all uh, right. Well, I will go ahead and start off with my first movie that's from 1981. And it is in Happy Birthday to Me. Oh. And I love this one. one. Um, I have a feeling. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So mm. it's this guy. He's working out in his short shorts. Mm. He looks I know. So damn good <laughs> and he can't hold the weight and the killer comes up with another weight and then the way they angle it is so you can see his bulge and thighs mm. and he drops the um weight on the crotch which then causes him to drop the weights which crushes his neck george a weight is something that people use when they work out <laughs> okay <laughs> that's like the that's the place before you go into the shower and steam room right exactly yes 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 before they start sucking <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I was walking past that. Bit. Yeah, um, just making sure. I, I really just, I just love it because he's just sitting there the entire time. It's like, no, no, and I'm like, throw the damn weights. Like, what, what do you do? Just, uh. I mean, he was good looking too. Mm. Um, but I love that movie. It's a great film, and I just, I think a lot of the deaths in that film are quite campy, except the one with the shish kebab. Because I'm like, ooh, that's a lot. That's a mean I can just... one. Mm, Mr. Grinch. Okay. Um. And uh, but uh, sorry. Uh, but it's so n- like just the the poster alone tells you what the fuck is like. It's just like nasty. Like, but it's mm-hmm. not sexy to me. Like somebody be like, oh yeah, let me feed you with this. Sh- what the fuck are we doing? Like, because uh-uh. it was supposed to be like, oh yeah, you like that? I'm like, no, I don't actually. So- Who feeds another person a shish kebab like that? Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. No, but, um, let me go sideways. You know, like I when you're sucking that. the dick and then you like, you know, like do the su- yeah. No man, you know, oh my god, <laughs> but I mean, the, 80s, on the, cob. the shorts in the 80s, <laughs> the shorts in the 80s is something that needs to be analyzed because I remember watching oh. um Sleepaway Camp and remember the guy with the red shorts. I was like, wait a minute, he's allowed to be around children with shorts this short? Like, I don't, I'm very confused, but because the dick was like right there, dicking. yeah, it was <laughs> that like, was just the 80s. And he was just standing up, like he's just standing next to the kids eating. And I'm like, sir, um, like it's on my plate. Like it's like <laughs> And I love when they did that in AHS oh. as well. Um oh, yeah. and they did it with Mr. Shoe. Um, oh. um so Brian his, Fuller, uh, when it comes to sh- the um uh Friday the 13th prequel, we better see some men in short shorts. All right. Well, it's supposed to wait, it's supposed to be set back in the because I don't know anything about this. It's uh, a prequel, right? It's a it, prequel, so wouldn't that be 
before show charts? Oh, um, well, they also show. Oh, you're right. Well, well maybe they'll the move it up to the 80s. But well, 70s well, wasn't still. I mean, it's set... hello. Have you seen no, it? Company? Wasn't it? How oh, many years that's true. was it before when John when... Ritter looked great? When oh, Mrs. Yeah. Voorhees got here, wasn't it only the year before or something? I don't know what they plan on doing, but I we'll I'm, I just we'll saw see. the poster that it was like the lake and it was like the, the him and then it was like the lake was and like, you could see Jason in the lake yeah with yeah. the machete and all that stuff. So that I nice. think they're gonna change a couple of things, but I mean it's Brian Fuller and he gave us Annabelle, so I have faith in him. So all right, well <clears throat> Liam, what's your next Back one? Back to me, um, I'm going with uh, Buffy in Scary Movie, um. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched that this morning. What? Mm-hmm. I love it. It's a great film. It's a, it's, yeah, sure. It's amazing. I love it. It, it, it doesn't. It, it's like you know, ooh, but I love uh, it. Is he frozen? What, what, <laughs> what am I feeling? I'm confused with David's reaction. I assumed David loved scary movie. No, I love scary. I, movie. He's what do you mean? Across like he doesn't love it, and I'm confused. What? No, I think he's more shocked that I I'm watched that you it. I think watched it this morning. Oh. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, well, I'm having breakfast watching Scary Movie. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, oh. you know what I mean? Yeah, well, that's what you do. Um, mm. I watched po- I know. I'm sorry. I know. And I had oh. Chipotle for breakfast, too. Oh, girl. I know, I'm a fatty. Oh, oh. Gat queen over here. Oh, <laughs> I, had a, I had a nice Christmas tree-shaped crumpet. Um, Crumpet is cooked? What is that? Crumpet. I know it, it's like a savory, um, like, is it a cookie, a biscuit? No, it's like a. It's so- like, it's no, like it's a- like it's like bread with like holes bagel-ish? in it. No, not bagel. No, just Google. So it's like yeah, I'm- it's like hard on the bottom, and then it's like domed, <sighs> and then it's like got holes in it. So like and you, you put butter, butter it, on the top. and then the butter goes like into the hole. So you heat it and up, yeah. and then you put butter in. And then the butter goes into the hole. I'm sorry, like, can you redo like, that again, George? Like the man butter? Sure. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, I know yes, what a crumpet is. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The man butter goes into the house. Mm. Yeah, it looks like I that actually got a man butter once, and it was like Ooh. mayonnaise. Like, it looked like mayonnaise, but then it melts like coconut oil, kind of. It's very interesting. Mm. Wait, that's a thing? Yeah, man butter. It's like lube. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I've seen the commercials, and it's like a guy, like a beefcake, and he's just like churning butter. Like just topless, mm-hmm. and it's just, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, back. But to anyways, the yes, Buffy <laughs> in scary movie. Um, obviously played off very well, but and played but very well by Shannon and Elizabeth. Um, she don't love herself. <laughs> a um, <kind> of dancer. <laughs> um, where's Brenda off spin with... off? <laughs> oh, I know. Um played off for comedic effect where it is rather than the killer and do actually doing anything it's just Buffy doing everything to herself um and it goes on for quite a while um I forgot how long that scene was mm-hmm. and I forgot how funny that scene was um because I did just re-watch it a couple of weeks ago um so yeah so that so I would um hope you don't uh, mind if I fake it, it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, but when that's that bone br- I, I still have to look oh, away that looks, it's just the yeah. sound effect. <laughs> I was not expecting yeah. I think when I saw that in theaters, I was just expecting all the deaths to be like campy and like not as like that was I was like gory. Oh I always look away. I was like, ooh. Like, like yeah, okay. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. It is. Speaking okay, of faking it, it George, ooh, what's your next one? Girl. <laughs> um, well, actually, I will go along with um Mr. Liam and mine is the um she's just known as the garage victim in scary movie. The um, <laughs> because please, please no, I'm just a day I'm just a day player. <laughs> <laughs> and they're trying One to get through the lines. thing and like sometimes I would I I'm just like I would have loved I think that would work in Scream as well. <laughs> like it was just I prefer that to the screen. It's but just so funny. guy who doesn't like comedy in horror movies. Um. Anyway, so um, <laughs> so just wait till we talk is... about our top ten. George has so many horror comedies that he talks about. Uh, right? We were Liam and I were both kind of like, I'm sorry, what? 
Mm-hmm. Just sitting there. Like, it's the mustache. Huh? New year, new me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I just think that's so funny, and just the the look. Well, the look on not really because you can't see his face, but the the actions from the killer, who's like when the the doors go in, like I've got my hairline nearly came off. Yeah. <laughs> <It's going> for... <laughs> keep, that, keep that down. <laughs> Shit! Fuck his hat. Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> Oh God! God, oh, that my was God. terrifying. Oh. Sorry, everyone. It's kind Is everyone like... all right? I'm scared. <laughs> Me too. I was really scared. <laughs> it's kind of like Eric... bring it back to the topic I had. Sorry, <laughs> it's the I don't know if you have seen that TikTok of Michael Myers hiding in the closet, listening on yes a discussion where it's like obviously he has the mask on, but you can feel his expression because it's like because it's they're take it six from the for color girls where Janet Jackson confronts her husband and she's like, are you gay? And all that stuff. And he's in the closet like, so so you let a man bend you over and all that stuff. And he's like, what? And he, <laughs> he's just with the, in the this. closet. <laughs> You've never seen it for Color Girls? Well, no, I've seen that. I met um, the Michael oh, the Myers TikTok? thing. TikTok. Yeah. Well, if you've not seen Four Color Girls, it's, it's not movie. the happiest movie. <laughs> um, but it, it's oh my God. That's that TikTok cracks me up every time. Where you can't see his expression, but he's like, <laughs> yeah and Hilarious. that's the same for like that scene in scary movie where he's just kind of like that and then the door just goes and he just sneaks up it's great it's funny the first maybe the first three but the first two scary movies are just iconic so i yeah, still love that, that there was cool. like a um like a door for the horse to go out of yeah. so i love that like little gag and i was like oh oh, oh okay and she went to the small one <laughs> horsey so <laughs> you scared me <laughs> So yeah, All right. That's a good one. Um, David, what's your next one? So mine is from one of my is such a guilty pleasure because it's so bad, but it's like ugh, it's um Blood Hook from 1986. It's it's a killer, it's literally a killer hook. It's a man in a lake killing people with a huge hook like a fish. Mm-hmm. And people are just dying and everybody's like, where's this hook coming from? But everybody's <laughs> just like, okay. And it's the final kill where it's like, because every death is ridiculous. But this one is so unhinged because it's so, well, first of all, it ends in mayhem because he gets put through a meat grinder. But the it's like, he's in, he's in the boat and the, the guy just throws the hook in his ear, yanks the ear off. But it's still like there. So he the guy just is like confused because it's like my ears. So he just takes it out like Mr. Potato Head. And he looks at the ear <laughs> and he's like, what the fuck is happening? And then another hook comes out and then but he kills him, chops him up, puts it through the meat grinder. yanks. Well, first, before that, he takes he yanks a hole in this like from here to here. And then he ties a hole and then he just yeah, ranked. It is so ridiculous. I watch this movie and I'm like. So, how do you not know that your ear is gone? Because it's just like, oh, oh shit. Oh. But it is so unhinged. It is so stupid. But it's a guilty pleasure. Well, you know, my, my whole life is a guilty pleasure. Oh, uh, but that one is so funny to me. And also, there's one that in the beginning with an old lady that she goes to the edge of the dock and all that stuff. And she's like, there's like, ah. and then a hook takes her and she's like twirling around, like, oh, and her and look at her face. And she's, it's, oh my God, the acting is so bad. She's like, whoa. Whoa, whoa. And then she just falls into the. Into the... <laughs> it is that. so stupid. Tell us but more I about your it. sex life. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you, Prep. Um, but no, but it's. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I mean, look at the test subjects. But um, <laughs> oh. <just> the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. oh gosh. Anyways, back on topic. Yeah. <laughs> um, Blood Hook, nineteen eighty six, is I'm very check stupid. That one out. That very I don't crazy. want to be here anymore. I don't feel safe. <laughs> All right, Senorita. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. All right. Um, my pleasure introduced to you. Oh, so Lord. my next one is from nineteen ninety one's Basket Case Three. Ooh. Have any of you seen any of the Basket Case films? Because they are no, but the best creature features. (laughs) It's okay. This is an entire scene actually, Um, and it's really funny. So you've got the main Basket Case. My, you should also know this this creature Belial has babies 
as well. So there's little baby basket cases or whatever. And so Belial comes out of the uh, basket and is choking a sheriff who then inadvertently has a shotgun and ends up shooting somebody who just ran in through the door. And then when, it, which causes that lady to fall back and then squish baby Belial, <laughs> which causes big Belial to get mad. Then he twists the sheriff's neck all the way around. And this is my favorite part because it looks, the face looks so kooky. And then the way the body shakes is like it's twerking. <laughs> and it's just the whole scene. It's really funny. So th I just love the fact that you just see this head turned around and then the body's twerking as it's falling to the ground. <laughs> Explain this to somebody Something who's never seen the movie. Never been is able just... to do. Yeah. Oh? That you know, it could be twerking on the dick. And he's in his 20s. <laughs> what would J.B. Fletcher do? No. <laughs> Work on the dick. No, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, I mean the um those basket case films are wild. Yeah. Um, and they were I... George. George would hate this movie. He would, would I? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I mean, he hated *Malignant*, so he would absolutely hate you would this movie. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. I won't watch it. Then. So don't bother, dude. <laughs> okay. You were <laughs> never gonna watch it. Don't pretend like you were. I love it. No. I won't bother. Bother. <laughs> I'll have to scratch it? it off the list. Oh. Yeah, damn. <laughs> We're you see the list and it's just every single list. scream film. Uh, well. Scream six, scream six, scream yeah. six. <laughs> All right. So uh, next we have Liam. What's your next one? Back to me. I have. Mm -hmm. How many more are we doing? Just tell us what you have. <laughs> well, because if this is my last one, I want to change it. But mm, this isn't Sophie's one. choice. I can at least do Fuck another off. two more. So if you want this to be okay. an ultimate one. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to go with Jack Nicholson in um, Mars Attacks. Mm. Oh, I love that movie. <laughs> Such a great movie. Oh, the aesthetic. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, just but like it's, it's again, it's the how he keeps on thinking that being presidential will win and talking and then um, no and then just a hand <laughs> and then when it turns it, and then when he's laughing on the floor and it turns into a flag <laughs> <laughs> George have you seen Mars Attacks? I have like I a long time ago but I have I have seen it okay oh that's the one with the brains right? Kel Supreme yes yes yes, yes. yes. Yeah. I have Sarah Jessica recently. Parker as the dog, <laughs> not the horse. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you liked her. No, I love Sarah Jessica Parker. Mm. I get this comment all the time. I make fun of everybody, people. Yeah, people, people really? I love. Yeah. Yes. I've never heard you make fun of anyone before. Oh, I don't know what you mean, darling. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the Olivier's, Matthew Broderick. You seem to be standing next to a transvestite donkey witch in a dress. <laughs> I'm. Excuse. I met her. <laughs> <laughs> at Matthew Broderick's show. Do you remember I told you that story? Oh, yeah, they just told her that she sucked, right? Yeah. No, oh, no, can, no, no, no. Can I just say that I absolutely loved you in Hocus Pocus, but I've never seen Sex in the City. Now that's and, a disgrace. And yeah. then she was, she was just like, look straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, because she knew. She's uh, like, she should. Yeah, she's like, this cool. Like, not smoking. even queen. <laughs> Faggot. Like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> bad. <laughs> Oh my god! I w I was watching a couple of episodes because they give it on E over here, like mm -hmm. at two, three in the morning. Of like four. Oh, and I just oh my god, it's a great show. Sarah Hello, Jessica Parker. Lover. She has a face like a foot. <laughs> oh my god, and... you sound like Peter. <laughs> oh really my god, sound like Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. All right, George, what's your next one? Um, so my next one is one that none of you have seen, um, which is very rare on this channel, mm -hmm. but it's from um, Paranormal Activity, The Marked Ones. Uh, so, we're correct. Yeah, the reason I say this, and Petty Pumpkins, <laughs> if you're watching, turn off now because you haven't, well, you might have watched it, but you haven't got to it on your channel yet, so switch it off because it's the best film. I don't want to spoil it for you. Okay, That's the Latino one, like Liam, right? Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. So basically, yeah. See, throughout, throughout I'm part of the culture. Yes, uh, uh, a the part majority. of appropriate cultural oh, yeah. appreciation. <laughs> I, it's, you know, there's a difference. In the words of Rihanna, all gender appropriations. Um, so this uh, one is. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! 
keep talking. This, this one, every other paranormal activity film, um, is basically a, a, a load of white families just running about screaming. So this one yeah. was an amazing change of pace because these people actually wanted to do something. So this was the Latina one, which was set in um, California. And throughout this whole film, <laughs> throughout this whole film, it's it's such a different pace. And then at the end, they come across this coven of witches, which has been going on through the whole series. Now, everyone else in the series has been running away from them, these old women. But these two guys rock up with shotguns and just start shooting these old women flying through the sky. And it was just so hilarious and funny to see because this whole show had been like based on like atmosphere and like weird to just see these guys just go and these women just go flying was just... Help, I've been was... shot and I can't get up. <laughs> it was it was so iconic and so funny because it just it it like they throw everything else that the franchise was about out this out of the window, but it works so well because it was like yes, this is what people should be doing. Not they're old women. What are they going to do? Like this woman's coming with a knife, going ah, and then he's just Baby, like yeah, this whatever. Is bones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, what it would was you like. run away from Calista Flockhart? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> okay but, um before we move on david that reminds me there used to, i don't remember the name of the show but it was a really funny gag to where um uh, somebody had a new show and P- all these celebrities were sending them uh gift baskets or muffin baskets and they got one and it was just completely ravaged and said sorry i got hungry Callista flockhart I'm fucking done. Who? Oh, where was this? I need to find the show. It was like an early like 2000s. It it only lasted one season, but man, that joke really was funny. <laughs> like John Goodman's that. family on Thanksgiving. Oh, uh, or Liam, oh. <laughs> or me, yeah. or my family. Uh, <laughs> so uh, moving on, David. What's your next one? Okay, so mine. This is another very stupid one. Ooh, it is that. um. 1989's Blades not Blade Blades it's uh, basically a glory? A, 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 well no not Holes um, <laughs> is um, is a killer lawnmower stop oh, it I think I've it's heard of this basically like Jaws of but course. a lawnmower <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah uh huh so it's we're in a <laughs> golf course and it's just like People are golfing, people are doing their thing. And it's just like this lawnmower is a POV shot. It's got, it's kind of like picture like Jaws and Evil Dead with a tracking shot. Oh, and it's very that. And it's just the lawn being cut and all that stuff. And then it's just like, it takes over people. It kills people. Now there's a death that is so, that makes me laugh because it's in the bushes. And then the guy, there's a dog that's on the watching. And then the, the owner's like, okay, stay right here. I'm going to be right back. He throws the ball and all that stuff in, in the bushes. And all you see is the bush is like, so it looks like somebody's getting fucked or something and it's just like when it comes out it's like the hands are like over here like the thing is over here and it's like the body's gone but the clothes are still there and i'm like um why is this clothes still there anyway you know you ask questions but you know you don't you know you don't, bother. You don't want those answers yeah you don't want those answers fine but it's just the effect of the bushes shaking and it's just like so funny to me this the, but there's a death the final death is so nasty because they're trying to he's trying to run over like um escape the lawnmower and he's trying to get up the car and he falls. And he's like, he's like, oh no, oh no. And then the lawnmower is like, vroom, vroom, trying to jump like a dog or something. <laughs> and then the lawnmower backs up, the guy falls to the ground and yanks, runs over him and takes both of his legs. And it's just, it's very nasty. Like that's that's one that I'm like, because his Ooh. legs are gone and the, and the little legs are like, wee, you know what I mean? Because his legs are gone. But it is so funny to me. It like is, me sitting say, in this chair. Say, say we again. <laughs> like Chucky in the back of the, of the school bus. That's that's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I still I remember when, when, when I saw you for the first time that you were like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> you know, oh we God. joke about my hype, but we're still not, I'm still not over our turnaround. And I thought I was in the Matrix looking at I, this Neo motherfucker. I'm like, excuse you. Hey, I like to feel my fantasy when I'm in Brooklyn. <laughs> I oh. mean, you were as tall as Carrie Ann Moss. So I'll give you that. I maybe mean, not as sh- skinty. No, no. One day, maybe. Um, well, I ordered a tape one from Mexico, so 
<laughs> fingers crossed but um yeah but it was just oh my god that movie is so ridiculous it is so funny to me and the kills are stupid the, because it's a, literally a ripoff of jaws so it's just like you're just i need this i'm gonna have to watch that this weekend <laughs> that sounds hilarious never oh that. my god so good you people need help yeah <laughs> <laughs> Well, oh. I guess I speaking of, you know, inanimate objects, uh, oh, are the batteries one. included? Oh. Yeah. Well, no. So have any of you heard about the 2010 film called Rubber? Yes. George does seen not. It? Yeah, no. George I've not seen it. it but... And so it's about a killer um, rubber tire. Yes, George yes. Oh. always wear a rubber. I've seen uh, the, the um, poster. And uh it ends up basically this tire falls in love with a woman mm -hmm. throughout and um, is trying to go after this woman and killing anything that gets in its way. The thing though is it does have telekinetic powers that it discovers it has when, and this is like one of the like first kills and it cracks me up, but you just see the tire and you hear, and you see it like vibrate. And then you just see this bunny explode. What's uh, vibrating? A bunny is in like an tire. actual rabbit. The oh, tire you can't vibrate... say bunny and vibrating in the same yeah. sentence. It's oh, not... sorry. The tire okay. was vibrating, going. Okay. You know. Or, oh, have any of you ever seen um, Howard Stern's Private Parts? Yes. When he tells the lady to sit on the wolfers, he's like. <laughs> Do you remember when he made not made, but that lady in, on his show? Well, the a uh, thirteen inch kubasa. Oh, what, no. was it that when he was sitting when he when he showed his pussy? <laughs> this is just far too American for me. No. <laughs> what? It was like a trans man, I think. No. Oh, God. <laughs> this episode. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and he was, but like, he sat on something. I think it was a tilt. I don't know what it was. Howard Stern, the radio <laughs> presenter, right? <laughs> oh yeah, this man is on. Howard Stern is unhinged, but that's why people listen yeah. to a lot of his. But, um, and he was a ginger, and his, and he had his pussy out on the show and all that stuff, and he was just like writing something. I think he was writing something, or he was, yeah. I'll link it down below so uh, you can. <laughs> Look, there's been some funny stuff on Howard Stern. But yeah, that's what the tire did. And so throughout the entire course of the movie, it's just this rubber tire rolling through this desert town and people's heads are just popping. <laughs> it, it sounds so like, like it would have come out in the 80s. You said 2010? 2010. Yeah, it's mercy. Yeah. Because, the, well, the practical effects were, I mean, they went gory. And so it was pretty funny. Mm. It's not as funny as this conversation was. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, it sounds like, like that movie. Remember that? I don't know if you ever heard of this movie. The guy that has that he eats through his ass. That everything uh, he has, he shoves like remote controls, like dog. Like I think he's. Oh, I think he shoved the baby up his ass or something. I don't know what it was. Like it was like he was. He needed to. He needed to eat, and he was hungry through his ass. His ass was hungry. Like George, but um, you is know, this like I, a sequel to Teeth or? No, it well could have been the male version of teeth, but I mean it it no. was it was unhinged. It was just like everything it was set on the remote. Like, honey, where's the remote? I have I no know. idea what film you're talking about. I'm gonna look it up and I'm gonna oh my link God. that as well, Jesus. Yeah. The links in this comment <laughs> section are gonna be stacked. Oh honey. Jesus. All right, so we'll go around with our final ones. Liam. Um I'm going to go with um something non horror. Um, be the one I'm thinking of. Please be the one I'm thinking of. It's the um, ending of Kingsman, the first Kingsman. Oh, not what I was thinking. Um, okay. Where the so obviously throughout the film, Samuel L. Jackson's been given everyone the chips so that they don't um, thingy, and then obviously at the end, every he presses the button and everyone's heads explode from the chips. And I just think it's so funny the way it's done. Where it's like all fireworks you know, mm -hmm. just coming out of people's heads. Um, yeah, I was just really impressed with how that was done. Um, and I thought it was just like such a, like, it's hilarious, but it's such an interesting scene to watch as well at the same oh, time. Oh, yeah, because isn't there like um, some type of symphony? Like, they're, the orchestra or like, yeah, the yeah, music. it's like, it goes off, it goes off to like, the to the music. Yeah. The score goes along with it. And it's just absolutely hilarious. Like, isn't it Barack Obama? 
Okay, so yes, darling. 2019, <laughs> 2019 butt boy. That's what it's called. <laughs> Not that being the title. Oh my god. George, is this about your life? <laughs> well, it's so tight. No, you can't even this is only ever hungry for dick. You can't even feather needle in there. <laughs> <laughs> But You've been no, on the Samuel L. Uh, Jackson Love Today, Liam. Yeah. You, you see first and you last. I mean, Sammy Jackson iconic. just uh, gets, gets yeah, things going, does yeah. doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. He does. All right. How about yourself? What's your final one? Um. So it to me, again, this is like, it's not the death itself. It's just everything surrounding it is mm, hilarious. Okay. But Not also... the assignment. Well, I think you'll forgive me for this one um, because I thought somebody else was going to mention this. Oh. It's it's hilarious, but it's also everyone here finds it really sad because of whose it is. And it's Jennifer Jolie in Scream 3. Um, because when that girl is like running up the stairs and she, goes, she starts walking down the stairs and she just starts screaming and running back up. And when that like, blade, co- when you hear that blade like, ping, and then she and starts like screaming yeah. and runs up. On, oh and my God. The stairs, and she's throwing stuff and she's like banging on the things and like can you see some and she's like you can't kill me i'm the killer of scream you can't kill me and then oh. she just like falls through like although it's heartbreaking because she was the icon of scream 3 trauma it, it's just like of course of course that was her death like it, it was so it, fitting for her character in her mind i feel like right up to the end she was in a movie like to her like jennifer <laughs> jolie thought she was like, in a movie oh, yeah, was gonna yeah. get an award like for for surviving the <laughs> it because she was in her fantasy bitch and i live on i love oh, parker posey she was oh, the she house was of yes. show over here. I think with um, um, Gina Gershon. I think it was the Lady Bunny and um. Oh my God, I forgot what her I would have. Oh my gosh, I oh, sh- can you imagine? You're in the yeah. audience watching a drag show, and then Gina Gershon and Parker Posey are sitting. I would have shit a dick. <laughs> like that is crazy. Same. Oh my God, I would. I love you know, her. I would her as well. You know, like in Babs. Yes, we're, we're in a classy place. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, she was. All right, I'll forgive that. you for that one. And, and she and I love that they showed her on the new, the latest screen, like when at the beginning when Tara oh, was looking cast, through the list, yeah. and you saw Jennifer Julia. I was like, oh, thank you so much. But also, like the scene with Angela as well, her death in Scream when before she runs off, and she's like, I didn't fuck that pig Milton to be killed by a secondhand celebrities like you. Too. And she's just like, you should get out. And then the next minute, you just see her body just being. It is across. so funny, and it's. Uh, and just the look on um they and the, both her faces, they're like, what the fuck? Like this bitch <laughs> have mercy. <laughs> so, so I mean good. yeah, Scream 3 had the campus craziest deaths, and I'm here for it. All right. Good. That was a good one. My favorite. Um, all right. Your final one, David. <gasps> okay, so I'm gonna, I mean, when I think of comedy and kill like death and com- I mean, I think of Freddie. Mm-hmm. And every mm-hmm. time. He picks this bitch up and says, want to suck face? <laughs> and that shit, I don't know why that cracks me up every time. Because it's just the the look on her face. And it's just like her eyes are about to pop out. He's just sucking and sucking and sucking. And she's like deflating, deflating. It is so funny to me. It cra- I know it's horrible because she's in the classroom and she's starting trying to learn and all that stuff. But it's just funny to get sucked on like that. Oh, <laughs> and and that one and, and like, how's this for a wet dream? And he's just like, Ish, and her titties are out in the bed. And she's like, oh, oh, so good. So Freddie has some of the funniest deaths. Honestly, it's so good. Very true. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. Yeah. And the one with the stuffing of the, she's like stuffing and stuffing in the oh cheeks. Oh my God, the, yes. The, it's hilarious. He's hilarious. He's everything. He should stand up. If there's a serial killer, like a slasher that should stand up, it would be Freddie. I would watch oh. it. The Zingers. Mm-hmm. Oh. Anyways, oh, but that's mine. I think it's hilarious. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I guess with my final one, I am going to go with Slacks. Have any of you ever seen this? It's a 2020 film. And it's about a possessed pair of jeans. Oh, for God's sake. What is happening here on this day? (laughs) (laughs) Actually, uh, you would enjoy it. It's really funny. You had like tw- you said you had like thirty. Oh, I have more. This. I have more. Yes, hold on. And the jeans is the one you go with because one, uh, it is actually really funny because a lot of the kills, like the first one, is this lady trying you're just on trying a pair to be of jeans, guys. Yeah, and it's so... just giving you something new, something you haven't heard before. It's fine. Oh mm. yes, <laughs> but it is actually a really good film. It's really funny, and 
um, there's this, uh, I guess, and it basically it's the gene pair of jeans is killing off all these retail workers who are working. I think they're getting ready to stock the store before like Black Friday or something. And so this uh, Asian guy is in the back and he's getting ready to like fold the pair of jeans and all this. And he like is trying to z like zip up and that like, and all of a sudden it just like bites off his thumb. And he's like, what? Like and a Venus so flytrap? Yeah. And then like the oh. jeans just start like bite, like bite off pair of his hand, like both his hands. And it ends up like, you know, cutting his neck. And this, this, and this thing is gory. Like there was, the one is where this lady's trying on a pair of jeans. And so then it just starts getting tighter and tighter and tighter. And then, yeah. And then it just like cuts her in half. Mm. <laughs> David's like, mm, yeah. Oh, tighter. So tight. You remember but yeah, it is it is just the weirdest <laughs> thing. And um, yeah, I think it's on Shutter. I think it was, it's one of their films. But um, yeah. <laughs> But I did like it. Okay. It's actually really funny. It's really gory. And yeah. Good times. Mm -hmm. I was going to say times that. Ahead. Yeah. <laughs> you beat me too. Sure. I'm shocked no one mentioned Zoom I... or Pulp Fiction. I thought I was expecting one of you. But I mentioned what? Zoolander? Zoolander Pulp Fiction. Is that like a Zoolander or Pulp oh, Fiction? Oh, like where they said... That's all like where the celebs are all being Zoolander. killed in Zoolander 2? Oh, no, like the first one was the, where the, the gas station. The, no, no, no. Yeah. You know which one was yeah. fucking yeah. hilarious? You know, no, no. Oh, my God. How, why did I mention this one? Do you remember the last kill in Inside? <laughs> oh, yeah. You're so wrong. No, You're sorry. so rotten. <laughs> hey, do you remember I that first thought, kill so... in um, Irreversible? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm watching that tonight after this. What? I'm oh, right. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. I, I watched it without the moving. <laughs> I just... did too. I had to rewatch it. Oh, my God. Our facial expressions. Both of us are just like, <laughs> I just had porn on the other screen. So it was just <laughs> of like, of course. Did she feel yeah. better? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Nikocados. It was, it was like, so the reactions were kind of aligned for some reason. I don't know why. I get it. I get it. Yeah. yeah. No, I can see. I can see why. Yeah. yeah. No. Oh, well, this I'm such... surprised no one mentioned oh. um, the family from Ready or Not. I did the, like that one. The, yeah, that what's was... their last name? The, 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 the La Domas? The, 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 the Domas. La Domas, right? Grace Delomas, no? Lana? The re... What? <clears throat> My pussy tastes uh -uh. like Pepsi Cola. My pussy. Yeah, I had to change <laughs> it because I haven't got one. Isn't it funny to me when gay guys are like, oh my God, fuck this pussy. I hate, and like, I hate that word. What? I hate, I hate the beat. I hate the bussy version. I hate brogut. Like, ah, I've never, oh. wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've, I've, no one ever played with your brunt. <laughs> this is not that okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm going to end this episode. Um, this will, we'll talk about all of this in the after hours, which by the way, we have, you know, need this uh, conversation to continue. On the yeah. <laughs> we have a Patreon, um, where we oh. get even filthier apparently, um, because you know, some things we can't discuss on YouTube. Oh. Um, so yeah, this is a oh, too late. <laughs> yeah. This was a fun episode. Oh. Um, so oh. this will be one of our last few episodes of the year and we can't wait to see you next year. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, because you know, and hit that notification bell because every time you do, George is notified in the best way possible in his his little runs. whiskers start flickering. Yeah. Yeah. Um it gets longer. So with that, um, I'm just gonna say thank you, everybody. Bill to Bye. 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 You have been listening to the horror hour. See you next time.